Man, Jackson, now I'll tell you what. Yeah. I can't believe we're the only saloon in all of Mississippi to all not have a single bar fight. That's incredible. Not a single one. Not a single one. Oh, so now you think it's all right to cheat a blackjack, do you, friend? Oh, I, I swear, sir, I, I, I didn't cheat. I, I earned this money fair and square. I'll give you to the count of three to give me all that money you got, partner. No, please. Please, One, sir. One. I swear. Two. I didn't cheat. Three. What? Uh. For fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, he's running. Let's go get him. Come on. Come on, girl. Yeah! Jackson, pull up that lasso of yours. Make sure you don't get too far. Come on, son. You're coming with us. Where are you taking me, please? Not to the police. I can't go to the police. Uh, now, who the hell do you think we are? We ain't turning you into the damn police, Aww. son. You made a mess of our saloon. It's about time you come clean it on up. Well, I reckon that's a fair trade. And when you're finished, we're gonna have a stern talking about your attitude lately, son. Oh, God, I'd rather you hang me, but all right. Approximately ten hours later. All right, friend. I finished your saloon. All right, now come circle around this table with the fancy little gadget in the center. All right. And we're going to do our comedy podcast. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. This Surprise, I'm actually time. a Yankee who <laughs> sounds like he's from Ohio and not a stern talking cowboy. <laughs> well, this is uh, Kale Talk episode 24, 24 or, or season 2, episode, episode two, 2, whatever you want to call it. I think um, we're going by seasons now. Is it an improper fraction or yeah. is it a number? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know. Um, we're joined by Caleb today. Hello. Uh, the, the elusive Caleb, the one we've talked too. about for episodes at a time. Oh, yes. Um, it's been months. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we wrangled him. We, we had to lasso him. Yeah, yeah we had to lasso him off of a horse and, yeah. and get him on our podcast. I actually, I, I actually did shoot someone over a game of blackjack. Like you, you think this was a joke? I actually did yeah. shoot a guy. This and... was months ago, though. Not, we're, we're just retelling the story. <laughs> <laughs> I shot another man for the retelling. <laughs> <laughs> another man who was uninvolved yeah. didn't know, didn't know we, we were doing. We weren't story. even playing blackjack. It was a drive by. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, we got Caleb on, and I've been wanting to talk about Red Dead Redemption 2 for <laughs> so just about forever. Caleb, I, um, think, I, I don't think. Since Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption came out in. October 26th, oh, 2018. Geez. Greatest day in Yeah, that's, that's the, second, the second coming of our Lord. Um, I don't think I've had a conversation with you since that day where you have not brought up Red Dead Redemption 2. That's oh, yeah. completely it's accurate. Like, you know, me and. I, I think me and Caleb have the same sort of uh, taste in games, because, like, m- me and him, like, remember when I talked about uh, Hollow Knight? You're like, fucking you and Caleb both, dude. Yep. <laughs> Whenever I bring up that game, he's like, fucking you and Jack. <laughs> yeah. Now it's Red Dead. Now it's going to be Red Dead. Yep. Um, it's, it's my, my favorite game I have ever played on the Xbox 360 was Red Dead Redemption 1. So the naturally... Same Caleb, I think. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dude, yeah. So naturally, oh. I, um, I, when I heard uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 was announced, I fucking lost my shit. And I went to GameStop the day it was announced, like teased. Mm-hmm. And I was like, are you guys taking uh, pre-orders for this yet? And they were like, uh, I mean... I guess so. <laughs> the, I threw $60 yeah. down on the table right there. Oh, the, damn. the day the pre-order, I bought it digitally on mm-hmm. PlayStation 4, and the day they the pre-orders came up, I downloaded it digitally. And it took me 24 hours to download, but I had the pre-download, so I played it on midnight on Thursday for like five hours, and I had an exam <laughs> the next day. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I've, I would like to point out that, like you, my favorite game on the Xbox 360 was Red Dead Redemption. It's like Rockstar was like, hey, what if we made the best game ever, and then they made Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. And they were like, what if we did that shit again? <laughs> I know. And they, they made it better than the first one. Jackson's sitting here, like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I know, Jackson's um, regretting <laughs> bringing me on this show. Um... So I didn't play Red Dead Redemption 1 until... uh, I told you to. (laughs) Until earlier last year. Like, October last year? October, September last year. And I didn't beat it. I got like three quarters of the way in. I was like, "Uh, I'm really busy with things. Um, And then I got Red Dead 2 uh, like two weeks ago. Maybe less than that. Maybe like a week ago. Um, So my hard on for the game 
is much smaller than <laughs> the two <laughs> people sitting in front of me. Um, but I still think it's really good. Mm-hmm. It, is, it is very good. It is very he, good. he sent me a picture... Uh, of yeah. him holding the game disc, and he was like, "I figured," or he was like, "I think you'd like to see this," and I lost my phone because yeah. I was just so. It's the excitement I have game. for you is like, uh, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, damn. Let's be real. And so, like, um, I watched a of the video game Donkey review on it, yeah. where he was like three out of five, and I and I so so I I know, but I was like <laughs> so I was kind of like uh. Underwhelms, and I wasn't very excited for it because I was like, "Well, man, video game Ducky usually has some good opinions, so maybe it's not going to be that good." Uh, he was wrong. Not going to lie, like <laughs> I'm just gonna—he was just wrong. Like <laughs> I, I, I liked it so much, and uh, the graphics are absolutely like stunning. Like sure. especially when you get up to like a high point of view. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like um, it's that classic thing where you get on top of a mountain and you just yeah. swoom the camera around. Yeah, you're like, and then geez. usually Arthur will ruin the moment, be like, "Oh, you're all right, boy." <laughs> Oh my god! I, I, I told this to Caleb when so you much. walked in, but the the like the song when Arthur. Oh shit! I am not gonna say. Yeah. The song. <laughs> There's a song called the end, "That's the Way It it's Is." It's called "That's the Way It Is," and um, it's like this really like emotional like like it's a good ass song. But um, in the comments, like people were putting like quotes that Arthur Morgan said, <laughs> and one person put. Get out of the damn way, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Get out, of the damn way. <laughs> out of the damn. My favorite is like I, I have like a really high honor, and I'm just trying to like like go yeah, through sand and or something like that. And oh then my I just God. walk by someone. Out of the damn way. And I'm like Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Be a little bit nicer about it. Um. Oh my God. Yeah, sand and is both the best and the worst place mm-hmm. possible. Because the game has an option where you can do like auto horse, where you hold down cinematic camera. Mm-hmm. And the camera will just like zoom out, and your horse will drive itself. But if you do that in Sand and you run over like five people <laughs> and get like a five hundred dollar bounty. <laughs> I'm like, well, this isn't gonna work. That's um, how it is. That's the way that's it how is. How Mafia yeah. works. Yeah, that is how Mafia works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, I haven't played Mafia Three, even though I own it. <laughs> but I it think is it, similar I, to it. Yeah. I think it. No, I don't think it's similar. I think the well, uh, wanted the, the, system. The Sand and part is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. It's like the New Orleans thing. But I was gonna talk about the wanted system. I think it borrows from Mafia Three in that if you commit a crime, there will be witness blips that pop up. Oh, yeah. And you have to chase down the witnesses. Yeah, it's and really them. annoying and sad yeah. because there's yeah, 500 there's people. 500. <laughs> and eventually, like, you're just like, ah, I'm not going to bother. And you just, like, ride away. Um, I don't know how many... I'll talk about horses. Why not? We're on cowboys. Mm-hmm. Um, I have. I'm. I'm just gonna resort to this whole episode. It's just gonna be about Red Dead Redemption Two. It's gonna be a straight well, half I hour mean, talking I don't about know, that. Man, we'll get to something else eventually. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> um, you do a two parter. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but horses. Um, I have. I've played through the game once. I'm on a second playthrough, mm-hmm. and I have online. And so in total, I have like six horses, and they're all very, very spoiled. Um, in the sense that like they can't do anything too strenuous without me being like patting them and giving them an oak okay cake and be yeah. like, "You're all right, girl." Yeah. Yeah. And like, if anything ever goes wrong, he's I always become screaming. very <laughs> Arthur Morgan. He's always, he's always he is always screaming. even like he's got a very loud. He, he's just so like. Actually, no, he does. All oh, right, <laughs> like anything you ever do is always like, I right. like. Okay, he reminds okay, me of buddy. my grandpa knocking. Like, <laughs> he just, he just, no matter what he's doing, he always just makes noises. Like yeah. he gets up from a chair. <laughs> <laughs> but he All is right. my favorite video game protagonist, like ever. Oh, uh, he's my second. And you'll, you'll John Mars is your first yeah, one. Because John Mars is my favorite. <laughs> you'll, um, you'll come to appreciate him. Yeah. Like I, I mean, I, I definitely f- appreciate him. It's just that I'm not like. It is Jesus falling <laughs> from the sky into my PS4. No, no but like he's such be. such a, a complex and, and like emotionally like relatable character. Like yeah. um in like his I'm sorry. No, what are you no, fucking no. giggling for? <laughs> I'm laughing because of how you guys are acting like fucking Vincent Van Gogh with the story. <laughs> I mean, it's really good, yeah, but like... I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe it's because like, I haven't finished it yet. Yeah, you're but not like, into it at all. I, like, I, I, yeah, I definitely am not like, this is 
god itself, in, and I'm playing it with the DualShock 4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing about it is that I went in with such high expectations, because I love the first game so mm-hmm. much, and then, like, it exceeded them by, like, 12 billion miles. Um, back to your character thing. Oh, yeah, I just thought, um, like, uh, he's such a, like, emotional and complex character, because, like, um, throughout the whole game, like, um... There, like he doesn't like openly admit his emotions. It's it's a very like sh- like a uh, show don't tell kind of game mm-hmm. where where like you can tell how he's feeling just by his facial expressions and the way he's like acting. Like he doesn't say this is how I'm feeling, but every once in a while you can like um these little like um when Mary blips, Beth talks to you in the camp. Yeah, and like the, these like blips will, will pop up and you can go sit sit next to like people in the mm-hmm. camp and they'll be like something wrong Arthur like you want to talk about it and I'll sit down and like be like man I've I've, 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 I've been, been killing too many people <laughs> yeah he like, does. and he like he, but he's like genuinely upset and yeah. like sad about it when when that first happened I thought the game was calling me out and I was like alright first of all that was an accident <laughs> <laughs> second of all it's my fucking game um to go up with that uh I was gonna say he's definitely there's a point in the game uh I don't know how many of the it's a side quest um, but you should do all the side quests. One of the characters is like, there's a good man in you, Arthur, but he's wrestling mm-hmm. with a giant. That's Which the... is insanely powerful. Oh, yeah. Um, but I was gonna say, it's like he has a... Get... <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off! <God. laughs> I think we're like the stupidest people. No, no, I don't think you guys are stupid. I think that that's like like uh, an 11th grader's English assignment that he wrote. Fuck <laughs> you! But I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, ha- I have far more... Um, dissenting video game opinions that we yeah. can go into. I still really like Red Dead. I just yeah. am not as like. Well, I think I think yeah. you are right. Is that that is very like if you just said that to me like down the street, I'd be like, how fucking old are you? But because it's yeah. like kind of that simpler time, and like those not like simplified vocabulary, but like mm-hmm. you know that kind of more rural way of life of just <laughs> yeah. like. People are very honest. What I was going to say uh, with him, like, how he doesn't really open up is, like, he's got a good heart, but he has a hard edge, kind of. And he can, like, turn... He can kind of, like, turn himself off so he can, like, silence witnesses and he can mm-hmm. do with those things. And I was also going to bring up... Um, this is... I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a... I think Arthur's a very... Strangely enough, even though he's a criminal, I think he's a very honest character Mm -hmm. in the sense that he doesn't really deceive anybody. Like, he'll rob and kill and shoot people, but, like, he's never dishonest. Like, even when you rob, like, random people, he'll, like, point out a gun and be like, you're getting robbed, friend. Like, (laughs) there's no, like, deceit. You're currently getting robbed. (laughs) Or he's like, he's like, being robbed. (laughs) (laughs) Or he's like, I'm taking your money. Like, there's no deception. And there's a point in the oil rig... Um, it's later on in the game mm-hmm. um, with Arthur. I can't spoil it because Jackson hasn't heard anything. Oh, boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, man. Jackson has... The game's been out life. for three months. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't play the first one. It's been out since 2009. <laughs> <laughs> You're just too far up Persona 5's ass. To play right yeah, but you don't hear me just walk around town like, oh, yeah, dude, <laughs> you, you, you Persona 5, man. I really like it. <laughs> Like I, I don't know. I I'm not trying to make you guys feel bad for things you enjoy because I also really like Red Dead too. But I don't know. I just I, I can't relate to it at the like right now. I feel yeah. like in uh, in like in a month or less when I inevitably beat that game, I'll definitely probably be like, <laughs> guys, and you'll be like, yeah, <laughs> we told you that months ago. Yeah, well, you'll call me back and be like, Caleb, we have to do another game. <laughs> have to do another one right now. Um, all right, we'll move to a different topic. A different topic soon. But, um... Jackson my, can't handle Red Dead Team right now. Fine. Alright, my favorite I'll quote... Go home and play it. My favorite quote is uh, when, like, uh, at, like near the very end of the game, when you, when you get... When you're sitting next to the nun... <gasps> yes! Yes! And she's like, she's just like, take a gamble that love exists and, t- and do a loving act. And I just thought that was That's very... Good, that is a good Yeah, joke. that was very... Oh, nice. my God. And my very, yes, my so favorite good. quote so far is when you save Sean <laughs> and you talk to Jack at the camp and you're like, 
You just do the greet, and you're like, hey, Jack, you happy Uncle Sean's back? And he's like, yeah, I missed him. And Arthur, without hesitation, goes, well, that makes one of us, and walks away. <laughs> I, I, was, I, told, I told you about this, but I'm going to tell Jack and everyone who listens to this podcast. My favorite combinations of buttons oh, yeah. is two greets and an antagonize. I don't know if you've done this. <laughs> but so what you do is you go up to a townsperson, and you press greet. And he's like, hey there, mister. And the guy's like, oh, hi. And then you can press square again. And it'll initiate like a conversation. And he'll be like, if you press greet again, Arthur will be like, I like you, mister. You got a kind face. And the guy will be like, oh, thanks. And then you press antagonize. And Arthur's like, the kind I like to punch. And it's <laughs> fucking great. There's another one. That, that, that's my favorite one. There's a second one. I won't talk about all the options. But there's one. You greet him. And he's like, hey, mister. And the guy's like, hey. You press square again, well, X on the Xbox, but you press the greet button again. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, that's a fine looking animal you got there. The guy's riding on a horse and the guy's like, oh, thank you. And you press antagonize and the guy, and Arthur's like, I was talking to the horse. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, and what's great about it is that you don't lose, you gain honor for greeting people, but you don't lose, you don't lose honor for antagonizing. You lose honor for the actions you take after you antagonize people. So you can gain honor and just be a massive tool to everyone. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. That's hilarious. Ugh. Yeah. Have have you finished everything? Like, have the credits rolled for you? No, or, I'm um, on the the very last part of the epilogue. Oh man, yeah. I, again, we won't talk about Red Dead Two for too long. But it's been was, like 15 minutes, hasn't it? I was telling, yeah. <laughs> I was telling Jackson that, and I told you is that the last song. It's like halfway through the last mission, like before the credits roll. The mission's called American Venom, um, and it's like halfway through the mission, and it plays. It's absolute fire song. <laughs> and it's like the game has clear the game clearly saved its best mission and its best soundtrack for the last possible part of the game. It can't possibly be better than the, the song that plays when you build the house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that song's so good though. I haven't gotten that point yeah, yet. Yeah. You'll you will you start building the house and you'll be like, oh my oh, fucking god. Yeah, man. It's such it's such a good like tone reliever. Yeah, like, it is. Not to spoil, but like the last part of the game is really emotionally. And then heavy. you get this, <laughs> this like upbeat song. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right, last thing I'll say about it. And, I er, last, said that three times. All right, sh- last two things I'll say about it. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Is uh, number one. The ending is really emotional. Like it, it just it. Like, there's, there's I, like I, I don't think I've cried playing a video game in my entire life, but this shit made me cry. I um, I and just the it. like, just seeing Arthur's like character arc has like made me want to be a better person, which is like. It, that usually doesn't come out of a, of a fucking video game. About I'm not the Wild enthusiastically. West. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it, it, I don't know. It's just made me like um, like. Normally, I'm I'm kind of uh, kept to myself in in public, and like when I like when I'll order food or something, I'll I'll just order food and, and, and nothing else. But I'm like after playing this game and seeing seeing this court guy. I mean, I, I've just been I've just been like actively trying to be nicer to people. Yeah, and it's good. it's crazy be, that a that a game about the Wild West c- could do this. It's I don't know. It's insane. Yeah. And number two, um, has anybody seen an Englishman called? Oh. <laughs> what? There's there's a little uh like interaction. You know how when you're riding through, there'll be like the gray blips, mm-hmm. and some guys like, oh, I got blip bit by a snake. Help oh, me out. Suck it. Yeah. yeah, or you give him, or you give him medicine because it's always on his inner thigh. I'm like, I don't want to do that. I, I suck it to you. I'm like, this is a video game. All I'm doing is pressing the square. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it looked goofy. And Arthur's always uncomfortable about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm making you uncomfortable. Now. Yeah, you can, you can get that. Yeah, sucking doesn't always work. Sometimes they'll really? die. So oh, okay. I, I always give him medicine. So you just lick their inner thigh and die. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but there's those little blips, and one of them is, um, there's this English guy, and he's walking around, and he's like, has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Gavin? Okay, yeah, and, no, I've, I've encountered that and, and we're, and, like, you're just like, oh, I hope you find him, and, again, sans spoilers, like, 
at the end of the game, like multiple, I think like ten years pass or something mm-hmm. like that, and then Jack was playing. And I saw, he okay. saw him again, and no. he texted me. And he so was like, okay, hey, look, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you see this guy? I I kid you not. In every single town, like, Gavin. Has anybody seen Gavin? Somebody, please help me find Gavin. And then the epilogue takes place years later, and I go to Blackwater and. And the guy, and I, I'm like, I'm, I go to the bank in Blackwater, and I do this mission in the bank, and I walk outside, and I just hear, has anybody seen the <laughs> Englishman called Gavin? <laughs> and then you talk to him, and John, or, and the guy's like, uh, you've been looking for... That's fine. Yeah, fucking gee, thanks, sorry. <laughs> you've been looking, that you're, and Arthur's like, you've been, ple- or you've been looking for this guy for fucking years. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he he's like he's crazy, dude. Yeah, he's, you, you talk to him, he's like, I don't know where he's gone. I don't know where he's gonna be right now. I've you, just been looking for Gavin. He'll show up sometime, right? You can, right? You can you can hog tie him and uh, loot him, and there will be a letter, and it'll be like, it's not very clear as to what Gavin is, but you kind of like get the impression that this guy's not really right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, mind. We're moving away from Red Dead Two, and yes, I'm, I'm leaving the conversation somewhere else. This will be a an unpopular opinion that I'm just going to shout out and we can discuss. Um, fuck platformers. Mm-hmm. What? What kind of platformers? I don't like plat- games where you jump. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody jumps around in real life. It's unrealistic. Why is this, oh, oh, why is this, oh, why is this oh, fucking oh. plumber jump around? That's fucking stupid. There's no, there's no press X to jump in fucking Red Dead. No, there's no there, press X to jump in the best games there, ever. There's press X to jump in fucking Persona 5, you fucking bitch. <laughs> press X to, no, it's press X to parkour, actually. It's <laughs> parkour. You. Wait, so you don't like Mario Odyssey? I, I mean, I play Mario Odyssey. I beat Mario Odyssey, but when I finished it, I was like, "Yeah, it's okay." Yeah, I, I would. You're when disgraceful. I, when I look at the games I have on my Switch, and I see like I have like Sonic Mania, I have like like I don't Mario like Odyssey, game. <laughs> I have like Breath of the Wild, like Smash, Mario Kart. I look at all those, and I'm like, "What are the best games on here?" And I'm like, "Mario Odyssey is like towards the bottom." That's like, die. That yeah, I actually, just, actually kind of die. That's well, um, <clears throat> I, I, I just played Celeste. I beat Celeste. That game is so good. Yes. And <laughs> it is it is a game yeah. that is I like would, it I is would, a, a I would ridiculous. Love, I love I already I like I've seen like videos of it. I think the aesthetic's great, the music's great. I would hate playing it. Like every second of me playing that, I would hate that. Yeah, I think I think <laughs> it is a very hard platforming game. And I watch. It, it, it's not difficulty. It's not like not like I'm yeah. like wham wham. I'm bad at pressing X to jump. <laughs> I just don't find it fun. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I, 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 <laughs> I know both I, of you guys like it, which yeah. is why I was I like, watched, I'm gonna say this. This I'll, will be funny. This yeah. will cause ah, this will cause a ah, stir. <laughs> I watched your review, and the guy was like, "You either have to play it or you have to watch it because, like, even if you don't like platforming games, or the guy said if you're not good at them, <laughs> then not bad at them. Like I beat Mario Odyssey. It's yeah. not and well, Mario Odyssey. Odyssey is it's not, not hard. hard. It's not a hard game at all. But, but I also just was like, eh. like the story of Celeste is very much worth uh, experiencing. Oh, it is. It's yeah. it's all it's all about like um anxiety and like depression and shit. I liked yeah. it. You'd like it. It's <clears> a, wow, wow, gee, <laughs> thanks, guys. Yeah, because you have anxiety. Wow. Uh, uh, I'm sorry about him being edgy. Uh, that worked. Uh, <laughs> we want to talk about too. the Batcaver story. What's huh? I don't even. Oh yeah, we looked up eighty slang, and one of them was bat cave. Wow. All right, this is such a bad. You did not tell that story well. All right, I'm gonna tell this story. Caleb and I were in the same English class last year. We had to do a project. We had to make a video, and I wrote it. And I was like, it's all eighties themed. I like oh, edited it and everything like that. I watched and this. Yeah, that video was cursed. But I, oh, the video was cursed as shit. It's hilarious though, and I love it. Um. And so we were looking up more 80s. I p- packed it with 80s slang. It was funny as hell. But I was like, I wonder what other like weird things I could put in there. Ugh, and we found one called a bat caver. And we were like, what the hell does that mean? So we click on it, and it's someone who wears all black and likes The Cure. And... That's what Ca- and Caleb immediately was like, Jackson, <laughs> it's you! <laughs> and then, this was uh, this was like two Caleb phones ago, but you changed my like uh, contact name to Batcaver. Yeah, it's still saved as that. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's, cool. It's, it's Jackson, parentheses, Batcaver. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, do we want to talk about... Um, so I told the story um, as a, what is it, a second-hand uh, resource... Um, Okay. Uh, of of Caleb's story of accidentally uh, stealing a magnet in the Bahamas. 
<laughs> Would you like to retell this? <laughs> it's not that much of a story. Uh, we were in the Bahamas, and we were walking around tourist shops. <laughs> And I got back to my room and I went in my pocket and I was like, what is this? And it's a, it was a Bahama magnet. And I was like, I don't remember taking this. <laughs> but I don't remember paying for it. <laughs> but then this the sprouted into a conversation later when we got back to school um, of... Apparently, this is a reoccurring uh, issue. I don't remember, like, where a lot of stuff in my house comes from. <laughs> and I don't remember picking it up, but, like, I, I guess it, I must have because it's in my room. Like, I have a bandana in my room. <laughs> It's like, like small stuff, yeah, though, it's isn't it? Like I've never, I've never come home and there's a car in my driveway. <laughs> I don't recognize. Like it's like, yeah, there's a bandana, or like I saw these like weird lollipops like in my room. I was like, where did this come from? Anything that your that your subconscious wants or needs will, will physically manifest itself in, when, your, in your pockets or room. When I played Red Dead Redemption Two, <laughs> multiple cowboy hats. Showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <coughs> what, are, what are good Kayla stories we have? There's, there's <laughs> While I'm more. here, you're going to call me out on everything I've ever possibly done. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, <laughs> I mean, the yep. pregnancy story is really long. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Tell the pregnancy story. Oh, man. Caleb's a all, dad. All, <laughs> no. <laughs> all, all 30 of the people who watch these, I don't know how many people Wow, watch fuck you, Caleb. Yeah. We invite you on our show and you make it's fun of like it. It's at least like 10,000. It's at least like 10,000. 10,000. All right. Well, to all 10,000 of you or the 30 of you who rewatch videos. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you know no. what? Podcast <laughs> over. We're not telling the story. I'm very, no, I'm very honored and excited to be here. Um, Jack's just being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Um, so I was working at a grocery store which shall remain nameless, but you let's give it a fake name. We'll call it Kroger. They're all owned by Kroger. Yeah. Every grocery store in existence is owned, owned by, by Kroger. Kroger. Um, <laughs> by Bonjour Kroger. Bonjour Kroger. <laughs> um, and it was like my second week on the job. And I was bagging groceries. And I'm not going to say, like, nowadays all I do is push carts, and I'm not going to say that this story caused that to happen. Definitely did. <laughs> um, but it, the story happened, and then I didn't bag a whole lot after. <laughs> I've bagged, like, other times. Sure. Um, but this, uh, so Kroger has, Kroger, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Um, has a policy <laughs> Where if a customer is either old or pregnant, you ask them if you if they would like help taking their groceries out to their car. And some of you are already ahead of me because this woman came in and she, I was bagging her groceries and I looked up and I was like, would you like some help? taking these out to your car and she was like no why would I need any help and me in my fucking infinite brilliance was like because you're pregnant <laughs> and she was like I'm not pregnant and I was like oh I'm sorry I'm just a garbage person <laughs> It was like the it was like the movie slow mo thing where it was like because you're pregnant. Oh fuck! Oh shit! I'm sorry. Oh oh, my bad. But yeah, so I accidentally called the lady pregnant, and no one will ever let me hear the end nope. of it because it's hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I said sorry, and I was. <laughs> I said sorry, guys. That means it's okay, right? I was. To be fair, I was trying to do the nice thing. I was trying yeah, to help out Yeah, when you think lady. about it, yeah, you're definitely in the all instances trying to do the right thing. Yeah. You just completely fucking it. <laughs> I was showing my Arthur Morgan. Yeah. I'm sorry, lady. Get out of the damn way, lady. <laughs> Get out of the damn way. <laughs> You're okay, girl. You're all right, boy. 
<laughs> I can't can only imagine being in the studio for doing his voice line. Like, all right, um, put a little more emphasis on boy. And the guy's like, okay. <clears throat> You're all right, boy! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think you could do a little bit more. <laughs> and then it's, like, it's like, hold on, go from like, go from like a pianissimo to like a fortissimo when you say boy. Okay. You're all right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> four say <eight>, four say <laughs> piano. <laughs> it's like 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 Link in a in a uh, Smash game. It's just like what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, uh, Shadow of the Classes. I know. <laughs> I wish I you hate could. That game. I yeah. wish you could I change the. Like that <laughs> I wish you could change, instead of whistling. Arthur goes. <laughs> I. Uh, what that, did you name your horse, Jack? Um. Uh, oh, I, I had multiple. I named uh, my first one Grungulon. <laughs> I think I named my second one Horse Number Two. <laughs> oh no! That's what my dad. My dad started the game. And he he called his first horse dog because, <laughs> because hilarious. no because he, he he i was like why'd you name it that and he was like because it's a little fucking mutt that doesn't have any good stats <laughs> I the dog. and then i think my third one's name was officer brown <laughs> good, good. Um, um what i i i know i i gar- i know i had another one and I don't remember what I named it, but those are my best ones. Jackson, I have more horses than you, so you yeah, should go uh, next. I have, I have currently two horses. One that I didn't name um, because it was like the yeah, starting the, horse the that you like, didn't get to name. And the other one, I was like, I can't think of anything. So I named it the USS Horsepower. <laughs> um, mine are all pun names. <clears throat> yeah, so I have one of yours. Yeah, I have one who I got at the end of a side quest um, so that he doesn't count. Like, I have him, and I love him, but <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I didn't name him. So, I, uh, so I you don't two, love him, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have two save slots and my online horses. So in every slit save slot, my main horse is named Nayar Tolkien. Um, <laughs> and then in my online, I have one named Oprah Winnie Free. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I have one named George Horsewell. And I have another named Al Capone. And those are all my horse names. I just love and Jackson just rolled his eyes so far it looks like he needed an extra in it. That's hilarious. That's I, actually I, so funny. I just am thinking about how like the the like Dutch's horse is called like the, the Count. Count. Like, that's such a like badass name for a horse. And then you're like uh, Grumbula. <laughs> <laughs> like, my Al favorite pony, get over here. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite thing to do. I, I always do the Oni Place thing. Whenever I, I have a, a like an option to choose your name, where mm. I, I start with a random letter, like and then I and then I just go on from there. So this one, I was like, I'm gonna start with G, and I was like, Gr Grumb, grung, grung you, grung you on. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and I flurm, flurm. <laughs> my favorite. My next one. Flurm. I, I I can't uh, take Sliz. credit for. I can't take credit for this, unfortunately. But my favorite one is Bimblor. Bimblor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I do for D and D. Bimblor. <laughs> He's a good character. Bimblor. Um, How far are we in this episode? Uh, half an hour. Okay, let's talk. I want to talk about Caleb and I's D and D campaign that we're currently in. Mm-hmm. So I'm playing a dragonborn named Kriv, and I'm playing the dragon like the draconic like language is Russian. So I'm just like constantly like talking like Russian man. And Caleb is a gnome named Body Knock. <laughs> this body be knocking against yo bitch. And, ah. and, and uh, so I'm like seven feet tall, and he's like two feet tall, like three I'm, or four. I'm three, right? feet, I'm three feet tall, and I weigh forty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm like six hundred pounds, and like seven feet tall. Uh, I think I'm only like six something. So you're a Goron. So I'm like way taller than him. But we were playing. Our, our characters like like each other because we worship the same god. Because um, he's a you're a cleric, yes, right? I'm a cleric. And, and I'm a monk. And so there was once where I was like. No man, uh, put up your shield. I think I told this story, but I tried. I wanted to kick off the shield and fly towards our our opponent, and I rolled high, so I succeeded. But Caleb rolled low, so I basically just fucking kicked him into the ground and leapt off of him towards the enemy. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, it probably would have made more sense for you to, Me throw, to throw. Yeah, you. yeah but yeah, I was, you you suggested. I was just like, yeah, there's no other way we could do this. <laughs> this is the only possible solution to this. He doesn't have a shield. <laughs> and when you're under stress, when you're under stress, man. Um, <laughs> Um, what about, I, I know we talked about this too, but, uh, when we were, when we were playing a campaign, me and Caleb, um, <laughs> everyone in our campaign was like complete assholes and like, we were just taking advantage of everybody. And then Caleb goes like, hello, sir. How are you? And like shakes the guy's hand. And <laughs> That's like, the opposite of my character. Everyone else, like, yeah, everyone else like steals stuff from the shops and Caleb like, like pays full price. Doesn't even try to barter. <laughs> like, you were such a nice guy. Oh, I guess it's 50 <laughs> gold for this bread then. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only price. <laughs> the only way. Oh my god, this is the only way, guys. <laughs> you flew like 20 feet back. Yeah, I slam into a tree. <laughs> yeah, you like went a lot Oh, the okay, this is so unbelievably unrelated, but slamming into a tree. Um, One time we were at film camp, and we do this um, we do this thing at the film camp uh, where there's an overnight. I don't go- think I'm going to do the overnight this year. Uh, it's at know. Scallywag Tag Place. Oh, now. that actually might be cool though. Yeah, um, but <laughs> we do we we go outside and we used to go to this big like wide open like place and we would play zombie tag where like a couple people were zombies and then everyone else was like alive and we had a, it, it sounds exactly like like what's what's implied Nerd and shit. and but um <clears throat> uh, we were playing once and I was like one of the last people uh, still alive and uh, like this. Like, there were a bunch of zombies that were, like, chasing me. And you can, like, shoot them with the guns. And if you shoot them with a gun, they have to, like... What do they have to do? They have to they go, do, back, they to go the, back to the, like, yeah. main castle thing. So I'm doing... I'm pulling, like, a, a, an Arthur Morgan or whatever whatever you like to call it. And I'm, I'm like, running forward and shooting back behind me. Um, God damn you, God you damn bastard! <laughs> so I'm running, I'm running forward and, and, like, looking behind me and shooting back behind me. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, Un- unbeknownst to me, oh, yeah. there was oh, a tree in my going. path, <laughs> and I, I immediately, as I turn my head to look forward, this tree is two inches in front of my face, and I slam face first into the, into this tree. I have like bark marks all over my face. There's like splinters on my cheeks from this tree, and then all the zombies like, oh my god, I'm okay, and they, and they take me and they take me back to like the the the. Base like where everyone was. You're all. infected. <laughs> You're infected. Uh, but they they, they take Sorry me back to, to this place. They're like, Jack, are you okay? And they shine a like they shine a flashlight on me because it was dark and like <laughs> there was not, not a single sp- a red spot on my face. <laughs> but uh, the entire time I thought I was gonna be like bleeding like. And then they were just like, Oh, you're fine. And I was like, Oh, really? Okay, cool. Yeah, so was, I just went back out. Some yeah. people that got like really injured. Yeah, because it was like wet outside. It was, it was were, like, wet slipping. and very dark. Yes, people be slipping. People be slipping. Um, speaking of slamming into a tree, like when your horse trips over a rock in Red Dead Redemption <laughs> Two, brought it back. Ah, all right, guys, here we go. Let's talk about it some more. Um, <laughs> Lenny, let's, am I right? Let's, uh, let's actually, the Lenny mission was the funniest <laughs> shit ever. Lenny! I, so, so the mission is, for those who don't know, you... I have a good story with this. I, I promise. We all played um, the mission. <laughs> yeah, but for those who didn't, um, you get really drunk, and you start seeing your friend's face on all of the other faces in the bar. Um, so, I don't know if I've talked about it on here, but I have the PlayStation VR mm-hmm. headset. So I was playing that mission in um, VR, oh, boy. and um, the screen gets mega distorted. Yeah. So I was like, "Oh, <laughs> no. Lenny! Lenny! Where are you? Where are you, Lenny? Oh, Lenny! Thank God I found you!" <laughs> but I I didn't know this, but if you knock on a door, I was about to talk about find this. two ladies fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I, when I first played the game, I missed it, and I I looked at the M-rated game. It's like sexual themes. And I was like, oh, there's that French guy in Saint Denis who does uh-huh. like paintings. I was like, I guess that's what it is. And I played the second playthrough, and I knocked on the door. And I was like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I I did not know like, What are you doing, man? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Imagine these two people just trying to have their privacy, and this guy busting. <laughs> what is? Lenny! You're not gonna let me in, Lenny! <laughs> what are you doing, Lenny? And then apparently they get like pissed off at you. Yeah, I imagine. Understandably. Yeah, they're like, I'm not Lenny. 
I also like when you're running away from the police and he's screaming like life living in pursuit. I have my rights. <laughs> I have liberty in the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> and the pursuit of living. <laughs> and the pursuit of living. <laughs> Lenny in the pursuit of Lenny. <laughs> I think that's by far been my favorite. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's, it's hilarious. It's, it's really it's so good. funny. Uh, I think you like. It's one of those like subtle choices, but I think you can drown someone at the beginning. Yeah, like, I just I, I, I just didn't, didn't press the button and yeah. he like got up, but I'm pretty yeah. sure you can drown him in. Like, oh yeah, I, I chose not to drown him. I, I chose not to, but I don't know if there's like a, an adverse effect. I, there's like an adverse there's, effect for like the wrong step you take in that game. Yeah, yeah there's. You have to like learn 1800 social customs. Lenny to be able will to remember play that. that. <laughs> like, every you run around, you walk in on the people fucking everyone dislike that. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny won. And Lenny too, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> and the the text gets all mixed up, so it's, it spells like Yanel. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Um, okay, here. Can I talk about um, go on another uh, strange tangent about uh, life? Please do. Sure. Okay, so <clears throat> um, this has been a, a whole uh, thingy about um, my life, but um, I've. I've always been uh, impacted by, like, two different, like, two completely different sides of, like, uh, humanity. Like, Good honor and bad honor. <laughs> no, but, like, um, like, I have a lot of, like, um, I mean, what would you even call it? Like, a lot of, like, urban influence and a lot of, like, rural influence from, mm-hmm. like, my grandpa specifically who, like, owns a farm and I would go there all the time and just, like, I'm... like tend horses and build fences and, like, uh, walk in creeks. And then the other side of me that uh, is heavily into video games and film and, like, mm-hmm. all this stuff. Mm-hmm. So, um, <clears throat> I've always wanted to, like, move into the city after I got out of college and stuff like that, and I, th- I definitely still plan on doing that. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, excuse me. <laughs> but, um, like, obviously I don't know, like, where I want to go or, like, what exactly I want to do, but I, I just know that I want to live into the city. Um, but then there's always been this other part of me that, like, um... Like, I loved going out and, uh, like, just doing uh, country stuff with my grandpa mm-hmm. every once in a while. Like, I used to go, like, every weekend to his farm and just, like, like help uh, just do stuff. Like, build yeah. build whatever he needed being built, cut the grass, mm-hmm. like, uh, like pet these horses, which I thought were beautiful. I love horses so much. You're all right, boy. You're all right, right boy. What? But, um... Plenty. <laughs> like, just playing Red Dead, especially the epilogue, like, has made me, like, uh, just want to, want to do this even more. So mm-hmm. I think, uh, my plan is for life, which will probably never work out because every, anytime you have a plan for your entire life, things always go, never it never happens. But, um, I really want to, like, move to the city and just do my own thing. And then when I, like, retire or get old, I want to, like, move back here or, like, move out to some, like, really rural mm-hmm. place and then, like, just ranch for the rest of my life that would be so fun because it's such a it's such a calming and um it's honest work yeah it is it's like it's honest work. I know it's a, such lot a, calming of, a lot of like musicians who get like really big <clears throat> they'll like buy a ranch and they'll like put their music studio stuff in the, at the ranch and then when they're done with music they're like well because i'm ranching now yeah and that's just <laughs> that's like cr- that's just awesome to me and mm-hmm. um I also, like, want to travel the world and stuff, like, live in different places at once, which is really difficult if I want to go into film, but I'll figure mm. it out. Um, mm. And, like, I, I I would love to, like, see all these different, like, cities and, and, and stuff like that, like, go to Australia, check out um, Ireland and stuff like that. Go um, to Tahiti. Go to Tahiti, yeah. But um, yeah, And then also, like, yet. check out all these rural places and see how people live yet. over there. <laughs> um, but go to Tahiti. Tahiti. I, can, I can imagine. <laughs> joke being very funny. If I get it, <laughs> if you get, you will. You will. I, you I will, will eventually. Yeah. Um. Mm. Yeah, but it. You know, I just playing Red Dead Redemption Two, especially the epilogue. The epilogue is like. It's really some, good. It's like yeah, it's like some of the best story in the in the whole game. It's um, also like eight hours long. Like, it it's is a whole it's epilogue. Yeah, it's, it's like a whole crazy other game. game. I was gonna say, but it's awesome. It's, it's so cool. But um, it's just made me like uh. It's brought out that uh, that part in me that has always been interested in, in like in doing that, and um, I know I'm I'm just a, a little city boy that wouldn't little understand any of that shit. But, like, but now I think I I definitely like mm-hmm. you don't want to try that out when I get over. That's sweet. They like uh, uh, I'm sure Jackson knows this, but like whenever I get heavily involved in a game, like I'm 
heavily involved in it. Like I'm the guy that like uh, like researches every little bit about it and like plays it over and over again. Like I do uh, that too. like Hollow Knight. Like I, I think I explored every single little inch of that map. Uh, I really wanted <clears> to. <throat> I played Detroit <clears throat> Become Human like twelve different times. Yeah, you 100 percent, which is basically just like watching the same movie twelve times. Yeah, but <laughs> it's slightly different. But, but slightly different every time. Actually, slightly and sometimes major. Sometimes major. Yeah. Got the platinum trophy. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, um, nice. Should we bring this episode to a close? Yes, we could bring it to a close really quick if you would like that. Western, wow, Western, West. wow, wow, West. So much. Lenny, Lenny, has anybody seen an Englishman <laughs> called <laughs> Gavin? <laughs> oh man, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, dude, that, that was, was a lot fun. of fun. Boy, boy. Well, we finally had Caleb on. You guys can stop. Uh, you guys can stop complaining about it. <laughs> Yes, yes, dude, we did it. All right, awesome. Thank you, guys.